Hola Gilmore, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, un placer. Encantado, aquí estamos en The Collection, el, uno de los uh, dealers más importantes uh, del mundo para Porsche. Thank you. Y aquí con Gilmore, uh, probando la nueva, el nuevo, The New Baby. Baby, The New Baby. <laughs> so, la, la Porsche Macan, mucho tiempo esperando por este, este mm -hmm. vehículo, ¿no? It's a long time, long relationship between the Porsche 911 and the Cayenne. And this is the offspring of that wonderful relationship. Excellent. So, Gilmer, um, you just mentioned something very interesting to me because uh, when, the, when the Cayenne came out, seat belt. Seat belt. Yes. Safety first. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> when uh, the Cayenne came out, yes. a lot of people criticized Porsche. Oh, how can Porsche has an SUV and this and that? And now look at that. Now they have this one and people are waiting to get for it. Exactly. Very funny how things happen. Eh? Quite interesting, quite interesting the arrival of the Cayenne into the dealerships across the world and uh, the old street racetrack gladiator, the Porsche 911, felt the impact of the, uh, the immediate impact of the Cayenne's success. And, uh, but it was not long until the 911 felt that the Cayenne actually opened its doors to the family household. To more people, yeah. More people to the showroom. So from then on, it has been a fantastic relationship between the sports cars and the family vehicle. And great results for the company. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about the Macan. Uh, the Macan just uh, came out to the dealership, actually just had the, the opening party here in Miami. And Miami, it's uh, one of the, of the hottest markets for Porsche, huh? That's correct, that's correct. We had a fantastic event here this past Thursday with a phenomenal attendance. Uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of excitement in the air, and the orders are pouring in. And it's a uh, it's, uh, it's green light across the way for, for all of us uh, yeah. with Porsche. So you, know. you, ma you mentioned orders, and uh, from what I understand, uh, from uh, listening uh, at the presentation when they debuted the car in the LA Auto Show back in November, they said it's gonna be only 50,000 units. Uh, this, uh, for this vehicle, and uh, right. what you said, like, there's not gonna be enough. It's, uh, it's, it's a good problem, yes. Uh, it's, it looks like we're gonna be exceeding that amount. We look forward to it. Um, we're pretty much uh, sold out into August, September, and the orders are pouring in, and we're doing our best to accommodate our clients and uh, our area here. So, um, You know, this, uh, let's talk about this one. We are currently on. The, this is the turbo, right? We are run, we are driving right now the Macan Turbo. It is a uh, 3.6 liter, 400 horsepower, 406 uh, torque, and it has the agility that comes with the name Macan, which uh, the translation is Tiger in Indonesian. Yeah. And it's um, and that goes with the agility of this vehicle. And then once again. The, 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 the combination of what you get from a 911 Carrera and the versatility and the space of the Cayenne. So here we have both world, worlds combined and uh, we, we think this is, uh, this is uh, it's, it's a success story. Uh, Size-wise, this uh, compared to the Cayenne, it's slightly shorter. Oh, it's not that much shorter? A little shorter. under three inches shorter. Okay. Uh, height wise and uh, length wise uh, it's somewhere between five and six inches a little bit of the trunk was uh, that space came out of there as you see if you sit inside a cayenne you will see and then come back inside a macan you will notice that it's a very very uh, minor difference yeah in space uh, cargo room areas uh, So we can see almost 18 cubic feet of cargo from 22 on the Cayenne. Yeah, so not, not so that bad, it's really. Not yeah. that bad. And, and inside that, that typical in, uh, design uh, Porsche, uh, beautiful at the center console. laid out so you don't have to stretch or move forward. You can control every function button in this vehicle. Sitting down in the position that you are, you will notice that you can reach a, each and every button here and control according to the style of driving the, the So the, the central console that uh, has Cent been, you know, it's, it's basically in every car now for Porsche, right? Uh, That's basically it. All Porsches now have the what's called the eco-friendly button. You stop the stop and go, shuts off one if you choose to, oh, yeah. to use that option. 
you have lane change assist in this particular vehicle has the lane change assist lane departure as well the blind spot lets you know if there's a car next to you the mirrors will light up um, you've got the sport button that is standard across all Porsche models but this particular vehicle has the sport plus that allows you to do the launch control as well as the uh, Believe it or not, uh, yeah, actually lock like your yeah. lap time <laughs> if you want to go racing. Very, very tempting. Very control, tempting. control, off road, and um, what else? Exactly. It's, I mean, you have everything it's, it's, you it's can a, ask for. It's a true Porsche. I mean, like in every aspect. And uh, uh, um, there are other models coming up, right? There's a diesel. It's already out in Europe. Yeah. As you know. Uh, the diesel might come our way. And but for gasoline engine, they already have the regular... Uh... Yes, that there is a gasoline engine, a smaller engine coming to follow the same tradition of the Cayenne. Yeah. Perhaps Cayenne V6, Cayenne S, Cayenne GTS and so forth. Who knows, maybe we'll have a Macan GTS in the future. <laughs> Another, and, a and a hybrid. And a hybrid. And a hybrid. A plug-in hybrid. Well, what's starting price for this car? Starting price here is seventy-two thousand for and the turbo. For the turbo, and obviously you can customize the vehicle a la carte. You can choose the stitching from the stitching to the wheels. Uh, they come with nineteen standard wheels. You can take it all the way up to twenty-one inches. There are two designs of twenty-ones. There are two designs for twenty-inch, and two designs. As you see, this particular vehicle has what's called a carbon fiber trim. Yeah. Carbon fiber across the. Doors, the dashboard, carbon fiber steering wheel. Got the panoramic roof. In the event it's too sunny, you can bring the curtain and completely block the sun. We have this is fantastic. Have you had uh, air conditioning seats here wow, from yeah. Miami? Well, Miami immediately, <laughs> immediately, immediately <laughs> you feel the yeah you feel it. Oh, right? absolutely, it's, yeah. It's, it's, and a nice, uh, and nice color coming to, out. You get to control it and bring it down a little bit because you can really cool off here with this feature. And navigation, yeah. Uh, very friendly uh, navigation system here. Bluetooth. Uh, fantastic sound system. There are two options for sound system: the Bose and the Burmeister. And uh, depending on your preference of music and sound, uh, I, I happen to like both of them. One is a little bit more than the other. Uh, here you get to this is fantastic, Javier. You actually see the torque split. On the, right on the cluster there. So this is a four-wheel drive vehicle? All-wheel drive, continuous all-wheel drive, unlike other wheel drives out there that are 50-50. Look what's happening here. Yeah, you almost all rear back almost now. Almost to the rear. Let's Correct. say like almost 80, 90. Correct. Let's say we're climbing a mountain, which there are none in Miami. Oh, well, yeah, unfortunately. Catching a patch of ice, <laughs> right? Catching a patch of ice. The, the, the system, the computer would actually recognize to which wheel send that traction. So it's it's easy. Yeah, and, and that's another thing that, that some of the traditional traditionalist people uh, also mentioned, like the this automatic, the paddle shifter, the PDK transmission. I mean, those, all all this technology really makes you a better driver. I mean, because I mean, exactly. I, I'm sure you are a, a very good driver, yes. but this thing can make you even better. Yeah, absolutely, this this it, it can almost it, it, it take you to a danger zone because it, it entices you into pushing further. Yeah, it's an amazing system. This is the only SUV out there in the world with a PDK transmission. PDK, which stands for double plunk, yeah. which means dual clutch in German. And uh, there are no other SUVs. We hear, oh, uh, Macan is uh, bringing uh, uh, Audi parts into it. No, we have the, the transmission, the casing of the Audi transmission, which is perfect. Porsche found that perfect yeah. shape, the perfect weight, and put its components into it. And that's a great thing about the Volkswagen Group, which Porsche right. is now part of it. They have like fabulous brands, like you mentioned, Audi, uh, yes. Bugatti, yes. <laughs> Lamborghini. Yes. <laughs> Porsche, Volkswagen, so I mean there's a lot of good things that come out of that relationship. Obviously, no? all together they each brings its best yeah. and the results are phenomenal for the for the end user and that's what it's all about, putting out the product that, that, that defines it, defines the, 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 meets the expectation of the buyer and we hope and we are quite confident that the Macan 
is one of those vehicles that will reach out to all all levels. Yeah. Another and another success story for another Porsche. Another success story for Porsche. And well, we're very fortunate. Well, Gilmar, thank you very much uh, for, for your time and driving around Miami. This, this was a very easy going uh, yes. test drive. Uh, I can wait and maybe we can take it to Homestead Speedway or something like that. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.